So today, as we discussed that we will be posting certain you know, ideas how as to how you can become your own portfolio manager, not in the real sense, obviously, but to understand how you know you should think and work on data before actually investing into something. So today's topic is a correlation that is basically how two stocks or two asset class or two sectors you know they how are they correlated to each other what happens when you know they they move in opposite direction and what happens if they move in the same direction so to give a live example what i've done is actually i've taken one of the best performing mutual funds which is access long-term equity fund and this is on money control and what we can do is actually go on and see the portfolio so i'll just pick the top five stocks that is bajaj finance which has almost 10 percent allocation avenue supermarket tcs info edge right so i'll just take the top three four stocks and we'll try to analyze it so what we are doing is we have copied it from the website and now we know that one of the investment which is the largest investment is in the nbfc sector which is the financial services the second one is the retail or the consumer product sector and uh, third one is in large scale uh, you know, consultancy services and the fourth one is um, mostly product platforms like nokia.com zomato info edge has a lot of products okay but yeah so if if i if i look at this in isolation it looks like a very well diversified portfolio right because yeah 10 percent is in nbfc 10 percent is in a consumer product so this is acting as a defensive one then you know eight percent is in computers and info edge again six and a half percent so it looks like an overweight on the it sector in the if, if we just consider the top five allocations well let's get into the detail so what i've done is basically i have taken the returns for two years so that is starting 20th of july till 22nd that is 2022 may that is still today and i've plotted the returns for each of the scripts and if if you just check their website if you just check their website the website is tracking an index which is the nifty 500 tri index so a uh, benchmark is basically something that you compare your funds performance against so over here we can see that the uh, fund is actually below the benchmark as of now and we will come to the reasons as to why has why this has happened and you know the, what could be the probable reasons so yeah the benchmark is still up if you see from a one year perspective and the scheme is still you know it has massively underperformed the benchmark by say 10% 7 on the positive minus 3 so 10% so let's let's look at why what is the reason okay what could be the potential reason may not be the only reason so this is simply the returns of each of the stocks on monthly basis so one month return on tcs is minus 8 info edge is minus 21 avenue minus 9 Bajaj Finance minus 11. So what we did is basically we ran a correlation against each asset classes, uh, each each of the stocks. So this is TCS versus Avenue Supermart. So Avenue Supermart is basically nothing DMART. If most of the you know viewers don't know this, but yeah, Avenue Supermart is DMART. So so we can see okay, TCS and Avenue Supermart has a negative correlation makes sense. One is in the consumer product, one is in the large cap, you no know, large scale IT businesses. TCS and Bajaj should have had little lesser correlation, but uh, they have a slightly higher correlation. And TCS and InfoEdge, obviously, they will have a high correlation. They are, uh, you know, exposed to the same sector, so they have a higher correlation of 25%. That means 25%. There's a probability 25% that both of them will move in the same direction. And TCS versus Nifty, the benchmark itself. Now you see the correlation is quite high. But uh, you will say 30% is not high. But if you say the 30% 30, 30 correlation against an entire index of a single stock, that's very, very high. So this is what we have compared against TCS. I'll do the same exercise of now InfoEdge versus Avenue. So for those who don't know InfoEdge, uh, it is the owner of Nokia.com. It is one of the largest shareholder of Zomato also. And they have several different companies under it. So InfoEdge versus Avenue, again, this is astonishing. One is in IT services. The second one is in the retail business, but the correlation is very, very high. InfoEdge versus Bajaj Finance. Now look over here. 
the correlation is 70 percent which is very very high right now if i see this in isolation budget finance is an nbfc inferge is a it services looks like it's very well diversified but if i go into the detail of just removing a simple correlation in excel i see they are 70 percent correlated <coughs> and not only that look at this one inferge versus the entire index it has a 765 percent correlation that's huge that's a single stock which is having a very very high volatility against the entire index right similarly we did for avenue versus bajaj again very high correlation if you see and look at this correlation bajaj finance versus nifty 81 percent right so if bajaj finance fails if bajaj finance fails tomorrow say if bajaj finance something happens into the company 20 percent lower circuits two continuous days just imagine the kind of wealth this mutual fund will lose because of this high correlation 81.3 over year and say suppose some problem happens in info also right there could be some problem because we have seen that zomato did not enjoy a premium in the stock market there could be anything right just a hypothetical scenario and we all know that mutual funds do not know they don't change their allocation on daily basis they do a review on monthly basis and yeah i, I just would like to clarify i'm not against any mutual fund or anything i'm just trying to educate how do we actually look as to you know when when to invest in a mutual fund you look at the top five six holdings and just do a simple analysis over two years period the one thing that i would like to tell you over here that, that this period that you're seeing over here is a highly volatile period right this generally does not happen this was the recovery phase from COVID, so this might be an outlier in this data but even still even if it's an outlier these kind of correlations can actually dent the overall result overall returns from the mutual fund right because if even if nine of your other stocks are firing the top stock the top holding stock if it has a 80 percent uh, correlation with your uh, index and it has around 69 percent correlation in uncorrelated sectors right budget finance and info is technically uncorrelated sectors right one is into retail finance the other one is still simply a product company so in the next session we'll uh, cover as to why you know only the superficial diversification is not important and apart from correlation what are the other tools that you can look into so for this session chapter one uh, we'll close with this data i would encourage you to go on investing.com look for the scripts that you want to search for go to the historical data chart download this or you can download this from this button also and run your analysis and see which fund is good for you thank you